2 Thessalonians 2 chapter 2. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers and sisters, dot not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching allegedly from us, whether by a prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Do you remember that when I was with you I used to tell you these things? And now you know what is holding him back, so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds it back will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 12. The Lord says, Their flesh shall dissolve while they stand on their feet, their eyes shall dissolve in their sockets, and their tongues shall dissolve in their mouth. 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Isaiah chapter 14. This is the plan determined for the whole world. This is the hand stretched out over all nations. For the Lord Almighty has purposed, and who can thwart him? His hand is stretched out, and who can turn it back? Psalm chapter 97 verse 5. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. Isaiah chapter 13. Wail, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty. Because of this, all hands will go limp. Every heart will melt with fear. Terror will seize them. Pain and anguish will grip them. They will writhe like a woman in labor. They will look aghast at each other, their faces aflame. See, the day of the Lord is coming. A cruel day, with wrath and fierce anger to make the land desolate and destroy the sinners within it. Romans chapter 1 verse 18. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 12. Their flesh shall melt when standing on their feet, and their eyes shall melt in their sockets, and their tongue shall melt in their mouths. Job chapter 1 verse 16. The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Peace 50 to 3. May our God come and not keep silence. Fire devours before him, and it is very tempestuous around him. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 24. The Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. Isaiah chapter 24 verses 19 to 21. The earth will be broken up, the earth will split open, the earth will shake violently. The earth will stumble around like someone who is drunk, it will shake like a hut in a storm. Its sin is like a heavy weight on its back, it will fall and never rise again.